Hello and welcome to another update video about eGold. Um, quick update here, I don't analyze this one too often, but today we looked at it in the member live stream and I know there is a fan base out there. So I thought I'll give you a quick overview about the eGold chart, looking at the um, yeah, different timeframes and the Elliott Wave analysis. If you watched the previous update and it's been weeks, yeah, um, it's been weeks since the last update, then we talked about um, further downside still to be expected, didn't look finished. However, price is still sort of moving in this descending wedge pattern here, which in an ideal world would break to the upside. However, at the moment, there is still zero bullishness on the lower time frames. So I have a wave one to the upside, potentially, even though there is not a very clear one. Yeah, could even argue the wave one did actually sit up here. But certainly we can give it a chance and say, okay, it had a wave one to the upside, then an A wave down, overshooting B wave like Bitcoin, and then five waves down. In summary, on the shorter time frame, no indication that a low is in. And also very important that it's actually quite weak. It's been quite weak in this bear market. Um, looking at where we are currently, it reacted now to the golden ratio at 24.84. Bullish support is at $13.40. So below that level, I have to turn bearish on this chart completely, which is not too hard because you can count this as an A, B, C structure. Then five waves down is not really attractive, um, but it all depends on the $13.38 level. So if price breaks below that level, which absolutely is still possible, so if we see a break below that level, I have to assume that price topped in three waves into the 2021 high and then broke down obviously in five so that the next rally would also be a three wave rally and then it could eventually go down further not a good uh, forecast for the future so in summary that means in the short term i have no setup for the long long term long side anyway so there is zero bullishness on the shorter time frame and if we break below $13.40, then the bigger picture will definitely turn bearish. Yeah, It could still rally, but still that would decrease the likelihood of it ever going back to all-time highs. At the moment, we're heading here into a support area. This is sort of the last support area I have on this chart. Anything below $13.30 and yeah, 30 would be unreliable. It should ideally form a low here somewhere um, because this overlapping price action that we see on the chart in an ideal world here down here this would be an ending diagonal now it could be we've completed the wave one the wave two the wave three the wave four and the wave five is currently in the making so we could be really in the last steps here but either way as long as i don't see any kind of confirmation that a low is in i cannot call a low is in place in fact the way this is going i wouldn't be surprised if we still see a bit lower prices um support areas are mentioned and I think it would take a break to the outside or above this descending wedge to have a first indication that at well at best a third wave is at play here I mean again I can add the bearish wave count onto the chart it might make sense so you're not surprised if things all go badly for this one and it's a chart that well, I would not be surprised if this um essentially will turn to the downside yeah one second because it has been so weak in the spare market yeah we need to look at this in detail as well it's very it's been very weak in the spare market so if we say okay the bearish point of view would be it came down in five waves in a wave one it would rally in a wave two i'll change the color in a minute but that would be the bearish wave count let's highlight that in white and this is certainly probable because um, it topped in three waves into 2021, which means if we form a local low here somewhere, we could be watching for a wave two pullback rally first before going all um, getting all too bullish because um, it can always rally in a wave two. Yeah? Five waves down would be a wave one and then a wave two corrective to the upside. The only reason why I mention this is because it has been so weak in the bear market so that we have to consider that bearish wave count and it is technically possible to count this rally into 2021 November as a third wave rally. Yeah, but either way, it doesn't matter which one it is because in the short term, there is no evidence for a low in place anyway. 
So it is really only worth discussing about, okay, is the next rally going to be a wave two or a third wave if we find some local support here, ideally at one of these FIB levels. Yeah, that's my update about eGold. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.